So the first thing I want to do, right, is I want to get my hand across Chez's neck, right? I don't want, unless I'm going to do a different escape, but this particular one, I want my hand across his neck. So when Chez is, is got his head down, it's, it's tough to get it in. So you got to bridge. Just pop your hip up and bring it here. Right, you don't need to grab anything if you want, you can, but just put your, your hand on his, on his trap is good, right? Now the same thing with this. I want this in here. I don't want, I don't want to be where my arm is useless. So he's going to be nice and tight here. So the same thing. I want to bridge. So bring your toes to your butt as close as you can and pop up. And now you create just a little space and now I'm in. All right, so I have this across his neck, this across his head. Now again, anytime you bridge, right, the closer your toes are to your butt, the better, the higher, the better you're going to bridge, right? So I'm going to bridge on my right shoulder towards him. Here. That's all I need is that little space. Then I take the lower leg or the leg that's closest to Chad, and I bring it in, and I'm out. Right now I just fix myself, put him in guard if I want, or butterfly guard. So again, so this arm is clear. This arm isn't where I want it to be either, right? I'm going to bridge, and it, it doesn't really matter which one you do first. Here. Now I got this space. Now I'm going to do it, bridge again. Here. And now I got this in. And now I'm going to bridge. When I bridge, I'm going to bridge on my right shoulder hard. And the mis what I see a lot of guys not doing is they don't give any pressure here. The idea is you got to create some space. So you have to push off, whether you bring your elbow up or just push. You have to create space here so I can bring my knee in. And the, re the way you do it is to bridge and also give chest pressure on his neck. Look, there, here, and I'm out. All right, guys, let's try that.